So as we all know, South Africa or the Springboks is currently going through a deep fly-off crisis where we have Henry Pollard out and injured. We have Elton Yankees with mental issues. We've got them in that's what that was concussed. And now we have Franz Stein that is a backup fly-off for this coming game against the Argentinians. But in this video, I'd like to look at the URC fly-offs and who the Springbok management should give an opportunity to come into the Springbok fold. As we all know, the URC South African contingent consists of the Stormers, the Sharks, the Bulls and the Lions. So the fly-off for the Stormers in the previous URC competition or season and also in the current season is Manny Libok. For the Bulls, the staple there was Chris Smith. For the Sharks, Cohen Bosch was the chief fly-off. And for the Lions, it was Jordan Hendrickson. So I would like to compare some stats and come to a conclusion at the end to see what fly-off deserves to be brought in to the Springbok fold. So the first guy I'd like to look at is none other than the Stormers fly-off, Manny Libok. So a quick overview of Manny Libok's stats. Now for the Stormers, in the previous season, he played 21 matches for the Stormers, of which he started 20 matches. In the 21 matches he played, he scored 3 tries, he scored 27 penalties, 36 conversions, and he scored 8.1 points per match. Then a quick overview, we have Chris Smith, who is 28 years old. Um, being 28, you are basically in the prime of your career. For the Bulls, he played 34 matches, of which he started 18. Um, he scored 5 tries and he scored 31 penalties, 49 conversions, and he scored a total a average of 6.4 points. With Jordan Hendrickson, who is 21 years old, who is very young, he played 17 matches for the Lions in last season, of which he st started 15. He scored 22 penalties, uh, 39 conversions, and an average of 9.1 games per match. Then finally for the shock, we got Cohen Bosch, who is 25 years old, average of 7.9 points per match. Now I'd like to take a deeper dive into the stats of these players. So let's look at the attack, defense, and the kicking of these three guys. Now these, these stats is based on the URC competition, which was obviously the latest competition that these guys participated in. So here we've got on attack, we've got Manny Libok, who scored three tries with the Stormers in the URC last season. Chris Smith won, Julian Hendrickson two, and Kevin Bosch two. Clean breaks, now this is telling. Clean breaks, Manny Libok, he's got 14 clean breaks, Chris Smith one, Julian Hendrickson three, Kevin Bosch seven. So it's quite clear that Manny Libok is a player that likes to seek a gap and to attack the defensive line of the position. We also see here that um, for the offloads, we've got Manny Libok, he supplied uh, 14 offloads, Chris Smith 11 offloads, Julian Hendrickson 7 offloads, Cohen Bosch 2 offloads. Carries, Manny Libok, he carried 108 times, Chris Smith 61 times, Julian Hendrickson 60 times, Cohen Bosch 74 times. So if we look in the attacking stats, we can see here that with ball in hand, Manny Libok is the most competent player of, of the group. We, he seeks to attack the ball more in hand as well as to take on the opposition defenses. In defense though, we've got tackles made. Libok he made 160 tackles, Chris Smith 93 tackles, Julian Drixer 96 tackles, Cohen Bosch 42 tackles. Tackles missed. Libok missed 34 tackles, Chris Smith 17 tackles, Julian Drixer he missed 8 tackles, Cohen Bosch he missed 8 tackles. Tackle percent, uh, tackle success in terms of percentages. So Manny Libok he has 81% tackle success, Chris Smith 88%, Julian Drixer 92% and Cohen Bosch 86%. So here we have Libok, who is great on attack, but he's the worst performer on defense amongst this group. And we've got Jordan Hendrickson being the standout defender in this group. So in attack, we have Manny Libok, who stands out. In defense, we've got Jordan Hendrickson, who stands out. Then concerning kicking success in terms of percentages, we've got Libok at 71%, uh, Chris Smith 81%, Hendrickson 75%, Cohen Boss 79%. So it's quite clear in terms of kicking success, we've got Chris Smith who is at 81%, Libok is the, is the least at 71%. So if we look at the stats over here, it's quite clear to see that from this group, 
Nobody really stands out in all three of these categories of being a fly-off. In the comments from the poll I posted a few days ago, many people wanted to include a guy like Johan Goersen in this group. However, I felt we haven't seen much of Johan Goersen in a very long time. If we bring him in this group, obviously he will be on reputation. I must also add that Johan Goersen, he was part of the Springbok setup earlier in the season. Unfortunately, he got injured. But in this video, I would like to see what new player can be brought in into the Springbok setup in terms of fly-offs. 24 hours ago, I did a poll on my community tab in, on my channel where I asked the question, who should be invited into the Springbok fold? And the options there is the guy's eyes, is Manny Libok, Chris Smith, Tobin Bosch and Jordan Hendrickson, of which we received 425 votes. And the person that scored the highest is Manny Libok at 46%. Then we had Chris Smith at 23%, Tobin Bosch 13% and Hendrickson 19%. Now from the post that, from the comments that came through, uh, La um, Larry says here, I'd like to choose the safest option, Chris Smith, whose mentor and partner is Morning Stein. No wonder he's so deadly with a boot. Okay, so yeah, but as we've seen in the URC last season, Chris Smith, he, got, he has at 81%, which is the best amongst this group. So that's a good point being made there. Um, Guy Brown says, anyone voting for Bosch needs to hit check. <laughs> um, Sieben Mare says, Iwan Goersen. Uh, Lion Legacy Foundation says, anyone voting for any of them needs a check. There's no international experience, that's why the coaches have held back. Yeah, look, I'd like to disagree with that comment because you, the only way to get international experience is to be brought into a international setup, a team, and to get used to the system. And then hopefully, when we have like an injury crisis or the coach needs to, needs to see someone else, someone, someone different, he will bring you in. And that's why people get the international caps, cap debuts. Any player who was experienced, there was a point in their career that they did not have experience internationally, but they were brought in and they were given an opportunity. Okay, Stefan Blau says, Hoerson. Um, DW says, Libok, my brother, moved to Japan ASAP, please. No place for you in this Bok team. And here we've got, um, I hope I will pronounce his name and surname correctly. Ruano Celia. He says, uh, Jan Serfontein should be brought in. Okay, so, in closing, if I look at these stats again, the player that should be brought in, if you look at the guy like Manu Libok, what he offers, it's quite clear that he offers something different on attack. Um, however, he lacks defensively. If I go by stats, and he's not a very consistent goal kicker. With Chris Smith, Chris Smith offers nothing on attack. Um, he is okay on defense, and he's a very good kicker. Torin Hendrickser, he is... Also, a little bit iffy on attack. Um, on defense, he's very good. Kicking, he is okay. 75% is okay. Because if you look at stats like Dan Carter and Andre Pollard, they are also in the 76-75% range. Cohen Boss, he basically offers almost like, I would say, little on attack. Defense, we all know Cohen Boss's defense in general is, is suspect. And his, his kicking is... I would say, okay. So having said all this, what player would I bring in to the Springbok fold? So this, the player I would bring in is Jordan Hendrickson. The reason why, he is 21 years old. He's still young. Obviously on attack, if he can work with someone like Damon Willemser in the team, they can also assist him. He also has his brother in the squad already. They can also be of an assistance. And his goal kicking is not that bad. His goal kicking is actually um, okay. At 75% if you look at the previous URC season. So the player I would bring in is Jordan Hendrickson. So guys, I know this particular video like this, it will bring in lots of debate, lots of comments. So keep cracking. I would like to hear from you guys. Let's debate, let's comment, let's interact. What young fly-off would you bring in to the Springbok fold? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.